Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Bowes from the 19 Toll, and I've got the Rookie Guide playthrough for you all. This is for the City of Light tournament played on the Parc de Paris course, and this will be my rookie account, holes 1 through 9, qualifying wins, and this is the way that uh, I would suggest playing these holes. Um, and hopefully you all can dial in these shots and definitely uh, have a good tournament. So hole number 1 here, par 4. We're starting out with... Uh, an extra mile shot with a bounce over long iron. We're going to play a plus 10% off of the tee box for our initial drive. So I go with the Quasar ball here. It's just the ball that I like for this, this shot. Um, you could possibly think about going over if you have a club with a lot of topspin, but you need at least probably five, six plus bars of topspin for that shot. So what I'm going to do instead is full backspin and left spin here with this shot. I play with the red ring about halfway into the rough line. That gets me a nice consistent um, location for my shot on this hole. And as you can see, with an extra mile five, you know, no issue as far as distance goes. I just uh, adjust that one at max distance and try to hit it perfect. It is a shot that is great proof to the left or to the right side, so definitely not something to worry about. And, you know, definitely um, a shot that is not going to roll through into that bunker, uh, which is something you do have to be concerned with if you play a different type of shot with top spin. So for the second shot here, plus 10% for the elevation. You can go with any kind of long iron you want. I prefer the Goliath, though. I think it gives you the best uh, distance and, uh, you know, doesn't give you that possibility of being in between clubs. So there's a tailwind here, so we don't need to use any spin, like top spin or back spin. I'm going to use just a little bit of right spin to kind of straighten out this ball guide a little bit towards the hole. And then it's just a, it's a matter of just trying to line that shot up the best you can with the hole and the, the ball guide. So we make a min adjustment here with our Goliath. And you just got to hit this one perfect and hope because the ball guide's not that great. So there is definitely a bit of guesswork going in on this shot. We came in at a pretty good angle. We just didn't have quite the speed. And to remedy that, I would just you know move up my landing spot a little bit closer to the edge of that rough line and not mess with the spins. Hole number two here, uh, backbone and quasar ball plus 20% for our tee shot here. And uh, we're going with about two and a half backspin, three bars of right spin. We'll play this shot at mid distance for this shot. So two and a half back, three to the right. And we're just gonna line this shot up. Uh, it is a left to right tailwind, so you are gonna see, um, you know, we do need to offset this shot a little bit to the left side of the hole and it's figuring out that perfect offset that's going to be the key I went about one square to the left here on this shot mid adjustment at plus twenty percent Goliath and Quasar we hit it great to the right unfortunately and you're going to see this ball come in uh, it's actually going to come in quite nicely and uh, it would have been very interesting to hit a perfect shot there. I believe it would have been very close. So I think about a grid off to the left is the correct offset for that shot. All right, got hole three here. And uh, the way I'm going to play this hole is with a big topper and a Titan ball. Now you could use a Berserker here for sure. And, uh, you know, with the Berserker, you know, you might get a little bit farther up the fairway. But I think I think the Titan Ball is plenty here. So I'll go full top spin, a little bit of left spin. I play a plus 10%, eleva I mean, plus 20% elevation for this shot. And we're just going to make our adjustment here for our plus 20% elevation. Just want to concentrate on hitting this one perfect. The Big Topper is not a club that has a lot of accuracy. But it's nice to see that a great right here is still going to be okay uh, just because of that extended bounce you get right there. And that puts me very nicely up the fairway. I would recommend bringing your big dog for your second shot here, no matter what club you use for your driver in the rookie. If you get to a point where you know you can use a different club, then definitely, you know, that would be on you to switch. But I think, um, you know, 
Big Dog is definitely the way to go in the rookie as far as a second club to use. We're going to play minus 5% landing at this location, and we're going to use a backspin and a little bit of right spin here. And actually, we're just going to lose a little bit of backspin, not a whole lot. We want that second bounce to come in and give this ball an opportunity to feed down to the hole. So we're going to play our max adjustment here, which is not a whole lot with only 3.5 wind. We hit this shot nicely. It's going to come in. It's going to get that nice bounce and that nice roll. And look at this one coming in very close, very close. Now, if you use more top spin, you know, or more back spin, then you have that, that chance that the ball is going to come in a lot shorter than that. And there is a top opportunity to leave yourself with a very long putt there. So if you're going to miss, miss long and to the fringe. So you have a very easy chip. All right, hole number four, par three. And I believe I showed two different ways to play this hole. So the first way we are going to play this hole, um, you know, you can try to play your shot from back here with top spin and right spin. I don't believe that's the best way to play this hole. Um, you could also, you could play that shot with a Goliath, I think, if you wanted to play that shot. I kind of like the rough bump here. And this is a shot that, uh, you know, we need to dial in a little bit better. I don't play this shot at the correct distance. And you are going to see that from where my ball actually lands. We actually over adjust this shot just a little bit. So I play this one plus 20% for the elevation, but then be very mindful as to where you are in your min, mid, mid distance of your club. But you see, we still hit rough, we're still fine, and it's still going to come in pretty close to the hole. But, uh, you know, over adjusted a little bit on that shot, and it definitely cost us as far as our outcome. So definitely be very um, mindful of your min, mid, and mid adjustment. Um, min mid max adjustment when you are adjusting that shot the other way to play this hole would be with uh, goliath i mean a uh, guardian <laughs> and you're going to play pretty much a full backspin shot with a couple bars of right spin two and a half bars of right spin and you're really just going to play this one up near the fringe of the green and you're going to aim it pretty much right at the hole it's a pretty uh, simple shot and this will definitely be uh, a pretty easy way to guarantee yourself a birdie on this hole Although I really, I really like the rough bump, and I think that's the best chance at the ace. So plus 20%, make your adjustment depending on where you're at on your club's location. And you hit perfect right there, and you're going to see this one come in uh, pretty close to the hole. Should have played a little bit of an offset maybe for the wind, but uh, you know, within a grid, you can't really complain. Hole 5 is next. And a hole five, uh, par four, we're going to be playing this one with extra mile and trying to get ourselves within uh, in range for our thorn uh, or hornet, whatever you decide to play for your second shot. Plus 10% on each shot, on the first shot and on the second shot. So that's a pretty easy one to remember for this hole. So we're playing this one, you know, max top spin and some couple bars of right spin. Uh, if you do have a higher level driver, definitely pay attention. Don't use too much top spin. I wouldn't say anything above, you know, five, five and a half bars for sure. I put the edge of my yellow ring right pretty much right there on the edge of the rough line, and we make our adjustment for the wind. Uh, it is between mid and min for this adjustment. So definitely, you know, don't adjust for max on that shot because it's definitely not a max shot definitely check out your club distance before you decide what best suits your shot. So we get up to the end of that fair of that little shadow area, which is where we want to be. And we look at this shot here uh, on the bounce over. And if you have a little bit higher level thorn, this is definitely a great way to play the hole. Um, there's a little bit of um, a funnel there, but I don't have that great of a ball guide. So I opt to just go to a normal uh, shot where I use backspin. And we'll play this one about mid. I like to jump the shot right off the top of this little hill here. It gives me, I think, the best landing position for this shot. And we're just going to use a backspin on this shot and try to see if we can plop it into the hole. We play a little bit of an offset to the left, as you can see. And we make our adjustment there for the wind. 
we hit it perfect comes in nice bounce off the hill and just missed to the right we need a little bit more offset on that shot setup and we would have had it all right hole number six here um, this is a par five and you know this is definitely an eagle hole with a slight albatross chance so I'm going to play this one with the quarterback. Uh, you could also play this one with the extra mile as well. Uh, I always played a plus 10% here on this drive, but you know, 20% also will work as well. Uh, maybe keep you a little bit safer from the edge of that rough line. So play whatever way works best for you. I played 10% here with the Quasar. Full top spin, full left spin. And we hit this one, and you see the bounce nicely and over. And rolling way up there, and we should be in good position for our second shot. Now, if you have a higher level sniper in Rookie, definitely use the higher level sniper. But if you don't, you definitely want to go with the Viper uh, to give yourself the distance uh, that you need for this shot. Because you don't want to be taking this shot from too far back in this fairway. Uh, that really will cause issues as far as getting the shot to the green. Uh, so if you have a lower level sniper, go with the Viper on this shot. 0% for this shot. And you're going to use uh, max right spin and about 3 bars of back spin on this shot. You're really just trying to land this shot where it goes up the ridge on the left side of the green and then falls back down to the hole. And it's kind of a shot in the dark, but it's definitely a possible shot to land and as you see we just about get it um, if we had gone maybe another square and a half farther onto that ridge we'd have had a really good shot at that albatross so work at it see if y'all can get it definitely a, a droppable shot but a very a difficult shot to, to dial in consider yourself lucky if you hit it during the tournament all right hole seven I'm gonna play this way this hole two different ways here once to the right once to the left the first way we're going to play this shot is to the right uh, with the quarterback and then a goliath. So plus 10% for the first shot here. We're going to use um, a quarterback with max backspin and right spin. And we just want to land this shot up there um, around those last couple shadow areas. Those are kind of little areas that I always aim for when I'm playing this hole. We make our adjustment here. And we're going to hit our shot. Just make sure to check your, your distance on that shot, min, mid, max, and adjust accordingly. So we get the bounce, and we're right up there, just a little bit past that, uh, that top shadow, which is okay. Which is okay. Now, for this next shot here, plus 10% is how I'm playing it. Um, you're playing this one right about, just a little bit under mid, looks like. And we're gonna put, uh, you know, we're gonna go under this under this tree. And as you see, I went with a little bit of backspin on this shot. I would say, don't use the backspin. Just play this shot with straight, you know, just a little bit of side spin, but don't use any backspin or top spin. So make our adjustment here. You want to play a little bit of offset for the wind on this hole, and. Um, and have a good chance at rolling it in. I did not play offset on that shot, and as you see, I ended up to the left. But just remember, don't use any top spin uh, or back spin on that shot. Just play that one with straight spin. You can use a little bit of side spin though to straighten your ball guide out if you want to. All right, so for this shot here, big topper, we're playing it to the left side of the bunker this time. Um, I use um, a Titan ball here for this shot. I think that's the safest way to play this shot. And you see I go with full top spin and right spin. And, you know, depending on how big of a club you have, you may need to adjust those spins. Uh, I'm planning to actually hit the rough and then roll out. But if you think you can actually land on the fairway, you definitely want to tone down on that top spin some. So I use about 50 to 60% over power there on that shot. And with some right curl, and as you see, we hit and roll out perfectly just as I plan to do so. But like I said, and I can't stress enough, if you do have a club that you feel can actually land fairway on that, that skip, definitely make sure you don't use as much topspin as I used. So from right here, we've got um, you know about mid-range uh, thorn. 
and uh, you have options here. You can either go with a full backspin, you can go with a dunk. Um, very interesting here. I'm going to go with, uh, you know, trying to straighten out this ball guide and, you know, a little bit of backspin and just go right at the hole. You see the ball guide is not fully developed here with the level 4, so you got to kind of know that you're going to get a little bit more roll after your ball guide. So we make our adjustment here. Plus 10% for this adjustment here. We hit it great, unfortunately, but perfect shot, as you can see, would have been perfect distance and in the hole. So hopefully you all can hit the perfect and get that drop for the eagle. Hole 8 here, par 3. And, you know, in rookie, I, I like this hole. Uh, pro, expert, this hole is kind of a frustrating hole. But the rookie is not too bad. Plus 10% for the shot. Going to be going with a, a navigator ball. And also a backbone for this shot. Uh, the aiming point is going to be in between the two shadows in that sunny area and we're gonna go with uh, four and a half a back spin and with the navigator max right spin so we want this ball guide to come in just short and left of the hole you want to play a little bit um, for the extended ball guide so you don't want to have the ball guide too close up to the hole because then it will go by so you want to offset just a tiny bit and then also play for an extended ball guide here we make a max adjustment here, plus 10%. As you see, we hit this one great to the left again. and But you're going to see it comes in very nicely just left of the hole. So perfect shot, once again, I think would have been a great result. All right, hole nine, our last and final hole. We're playing this shot to the right-hand side. Uh, our initial drive is going to be 0% elevation change, and then our second shot will be a plus 10% elevation change. I do recommend that you use a power 3 ball for this hole. You definitely need it, especially for that second shot. Now you can use an extra mile. I choose to use the quarterback here just because of its accuracy, and I like to have a little bit of uh, wiggle room as far as um, hitting greater, hitting left goes, and I think that this club offers that uh, ability. So we went with the Titan ball here, we went max left spin. We went no top spin or back spin here on this shot. We went with the red ring right up against the rough line. We're going to make our adjustments here for max wind adjustment at 3.9, 0% elevation. We do add curl there. That also helps safeguard a great left or great right. You see a nice landing zone here. It comes in very nicely just enough to the left of that tree where that tree will not interfere with our second shot. If you do for some reason get behind that tree, um, set up your shot like normal uh, and then you're going to need to use curl um, to curl around that tree but, but play it pretty much the same way I would say. So we're aiming our shot here between these trees. We're using max top and max right spin. You want to try to push your ball guide up to a point where you see it's going to you know bounce out of the rough on the second bounce. Otherwise, it may hit and uh, you know just barely roll out of the rough or get stuck in the rough. So we know we need overpower for this shot. We're going to make our adjustment. We're going to push back up, and we can tell we need overpower. So we're going to use a little bit of overpower, a little bit of curl. You have a little bit of wiggle room as far as hitting great or great left or great right on this shot, and as you see, we get a nice bounce out there. Sets us up for a very easy eagle chip. So. Alright y'all, appreciate y'all being here for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it and have learned a thing or two uh, that can help you all uh, succeed in the rookie division for the City of Light tournament. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscription button and also um, set up your notifications so that you also can be uh, notified when I do release new content or even when I do go live during uh, tourney, weeks, tourney weeks and stream my expert stuff. I am also doing a pro uh, playthrough video as well, so if you are playing pro, definitely keep your eyes peeled for that coming out later today. Please check out my friend Gio Viviani on his Golf Clash channel, Golf Clash Italy. Him and several other streamers stream content from this channel covering a wide variety of divisions and tour play. Also check him out on his Facebook uh, channel at Gio Viviani.